let's see how we can highlight or color part of text using VBA code. On this sheet, I have some data where in column C, I have month name and date name. Here I want to highlight only day name in column C. So logic that I have used here is to find the position of underscore we can see here and then calculating length of cell and then using VBA code to highlight that part. So here first let me click on this command button. We can see that day name are highlighted in each cell with red color and I am getting a message task completed. So here I have data till row number 50. So let's see what is the VBA code that I have used here and understand how we can develop that. So I'll go to developer tab and then click on design mode so that I can double click on this command button and view the code. So I'll delete this code here and I'll write code from scratch. So first of all, I'll declare two variables dim p as integer dim l as integer so i'll be using these two variables for this example now data is still row number 50 and data is starting from row number 2 so i'm going to use for loop for i equal to 2 to 50 and then closing a statement of for loop within for loop first i want to get position of underscore so p equal to there is function called in string i n s t r within brackets cells i this is for row data i want to check in column 3 or column c dot value comma and then within inverted commas i will mention here underscore bracket close so this will find the position of underscore and then I want to calculate length of cell value. So I'll use L equal to there is a function called len within brackets cells i comma three dot value close bracket. This will calculate length and then worksheets sheet name is sheet one dot cells i comma three dot characters within brackets star colon we want to start from p where we have underscore but I want to ignore underscore so I'll add here one that means next position and then length we have already calculated in variable named L bracket close dot font dot color index equal to 3. 3 is for red. We can use any color. Press enter. Once our code is correct, formatting is done automatically. 
let me delete extra lines and once task is done i want to receive message so we can write any message here msg box task completed again we can give any message and i want to select a1 cell once this message is there and task is completed so i write here cells 1 comma 1 row number 1 and column 1 that means a1 dot so this is the code so let me minimize this VBA editor window and let me color this data again to original color that was black. Now one more time I will click on design mode and now when I press this command button we can see that data or part of text is highlighted in each cell so logic is very simple find the position of any specific character here in this example it is underscore calculating the length of cell and then using this simple VBA code so let me show the code again So this is one example of working with a string or text using VBA programming. We can use this code in different ways as per task requirement with little bit of modifications into code. I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you have any question around this topic, you can write into comments or you can send me email. You can subscribe to my channel to know about new Excel VBA tutorials. Thank you.